Well, three days back, the DGCA suspended the flying license of Kingfisher Airlines. It was the final nail in the coffin. With losses of 8,000 crore, a debt of over 7,000 crore, the writing was on the wall. But the cash-strapped airline was being treated with kid gloves, given innumerable chances. The question that remains is, could this colossal mess have really been possible without the cooperation of PSU banks, the Civil Aviation Ministry and even politicians? Even as Kingfisher Airlines is grounded and employees are left in the lurch, the airline's high-flying founder, Vijay Malia, remains out of sight and answerable. My question is whether this colossal mess would have been possible without the active cooperation of PSU banks, bureaucrats, civil aviation ministry officials and also politicians. Tough questions for the government and the civil aviation ministry. The government should have acted a long time before. The banks should have acted a long time ago. And even today, what is worrying me is this, the banks, Malia owes banks this kind of money. How are they going to recover the money? There are no assets and an airline is not a company. It's like, like a factory, this plant, there's machinery, there's equipment, there's nothing there. But it seems those in the government who should have acted give Kingfisher a lifeline that could not be sustained for long. When things are going wrong, I mean, there should have been alarm bells ringing on this airline a long, long time ago. If for seven years, from the day of its inception, this airline has not made money. If you have a situation where statutory dues have not been paid, where TDS deducted from employees, where TDS deducted from agents' commissions has not been paid. Kingfisher problems are much of his own making. Ministry and people have gone along. DGCA gave, them, gave him a long rope. He was appearing before DGCA, yeah. making certain commitments, but not honoring those commitments. The government should have acted earlier. Yet even when the mess in the Kingfisher Airlines was becoming obvious, the government was somehow still treating it with kid gloves. Private sector airlines have to be managed efficiently. But if they do get into difficulties, we have to find ways and means to help them to get out of the process. So while Vijay Malia is shying away from facing the tough questions, the Kingfisher Airlines employees who stood by Malia now feel cheated and left with an uncertain future. Bureau Report Times Now.